Hi guys, so let's take a look what I have here. I have art supplies from different shops. Some are from Amazon, some from Timu, some from a local shop. So really a lot of cool stuff here. And yeah, maybe, let's see, maybe I will start. Uh, so this one, this is the designer gouache from Shinhan. I ordered this one from Amazon US. Uh, it was an offer and yeah it was cheaper even with the um, with the postage and everything to buy it there than to buy it um, on jackson and also i did not see here anywhere in my local shop so yeah not really able to get them here so as i said these are the designer gouache um, I think, let me see, 15 milliliters, yes. They are 15 milliliters, they have light fast ratings on them, uh, color name, color number. So I cannot wait to try these ones out. So, uh, I'm not sure if they are still on offer, but I'm happy about this buy. Uh, next thing, what is here? And this is something I ordered from shop from Gerst Eka and these are blocks watercolors of I do know that they have like block pens like they are huge but I did not know that they also have watercolors in tubes so these were on offer right now and I decided well I will just buy a couple of colors and try them out I did have a problem with one, so it is broken, the color came out on the wrong side, but the shop was so kind and they said they will send me a new one. So yeah, so primary yellow, so yeah, I uh, have no idea how these ones are gonna be, uh, what the pigment, they should have uh, all information written here or not uh, let's see is there made in belgium but is there a pigment oh this is interesting so really small here it's written for usa only <laughs> okay and we have a pigment here 154 I did find a couple of videos of people swatching them but those videos like were old old and they were not swatching them from the tubes rather than from those big pens. Yeah, so that thing. Then I, of course, got a couple of more colors from Senelier Oil Pastels because they were also on offer at Gersteka. And let's see. Ah, this is going to be interesting. So I have here some stuff from Timu. Oh, let's see. Okay, so I was uh, missing pens, so I did have to buy new ones. So these are half pens. And then I also decided to buy these. I had I have no idea how to call them third pens. <laughs> so I think this is 0 0.1 milliliter. Does it say? No, it says actually, actually 0 0.5. And two milliliters. Hmm. But I was sure I ordered one milliliter. Well, either way, uh, I like that they are like more in this uh, longer form. So you can buy these ones. I think they were like two euros. These were even cheaper. One ninety. Well, the price goes up and down every now and then. So from two euros. Uh, three or four euros you can get the whole pack okay next thing i just wanted to try these ones out these are actually nail polish uh, brushes but i was thinking maybe i can use them for some small details oopsie oopsie i just took off the cap <laughs> Okay, so we have, it says Kolinsky brush, we have a 0, 0, 0 and 3, 0 size. So yeah, it will be interesting. 
to try these ones out and if they work at all we will see um yep so that thing also was something around one two euros no idea then i bought this i'm not sure if it is going to work yeah i already took it out um so you have yes and i also bought the stamping ink so let's also open that one. Oh, it's closed again just a moment so first off this is much smaller than how it looks on the website i know sometimes it really is deceiving how it's presented i mean is it if you look really closely you will see that they are small but i was really thinking that they are bigger so what you get is so this is actually made for swatching like uh, maybe i can turn it like this yeah i think now it's fine so you can you see here like light fast rating manufacturer brand tube series whatever so you can really use this information and put it just on your paper so you do not have to write it every time but i was thinking that these ones and these ones are going to be much larger at least one and a half size of, of <laughs> this one so that is gonna be i don't know maybe a problem maybe i will just cut them like here because for me they are just too close to each other maybe for colored pencils yes but not for watercolors they are for me just too close and i also do not know where my i have no idea how it's called i'm not really a stamping person acrylic um, piece is where you put this on and then you put it on the stamp i have to find that so now i will have to just improvise and just take one down or maybe i can just take a look maybe i will find it. nope i have no idea where it is so i will have to improvise let's see if we can put this here on top okay so actually yes we can and I was also thinking that this is going to be bigger. So I got also this one from Timu. It was one euro and I really thought it will be much bigger. So let's see. Okay, yeah, so I was not at the end, but it is moist, so it's not dry. Okay, so it does work. Let's see how many times I can put it. Yeah, not bad so definitely works but and let's try let's try these ones just to show you what i mean that they are just too close to each other you see like it's just one big piece and when you are using watercolors it they are just too close but this is nice i have uh, my acrylic thingy <laughs> okay let's try and do these two ah i don't see anything okay go away i do not have any professional stamping tools okay yeah so we'll have to practice a little bit with this and as i said i will probably just cut two of these ones because either way um, this inking pillow or whatever it's just you see it is small i thought it will be double double the size but yeah again you just have to to look a little bit closer but i'm okay with it so yeah you see this is what you can do i was a little bit fast here like going up and down so that's why i have these tricky lines but i think this one looks nice at least this one this one looks really nice and should we try something else no i think it's fine maybe maybe let's let's try this where we have written all the numbers Let's see so again ah, i can put it like this okay and voila and then 
underneath of somewhere here well the small parts a little bit no not really visible i'm not sure maybe i need to put it more inside i don't think so maybe even less yeah it's just too i think they are too small or was it just dots ah okay Whew, this is okay i get it now so these are actually light fast rating stars so depending on how much um, of them you put in the ink that's how much of the dots you are going to have but yeah i do not think i am gonna use that but the rest here is actually fine okay okay so that would be that let's see what else i got this small potentate uh watercolor blocks um they have 12 sheets and i already bought something from this brand uh, on amazon so it's this journal watercolor journal uh, sketchbook i think it looks really nice right now it's not available on the german amazon but when it was i paid 10 euros for it and it was so nice yeah and these ones as i said two euro fifty well i mean does it pay off i don't know i just thought it was cute and i really wanted to have it <laughs> ah yes and it says it's a hot pressed paper okay now i have something else uh, also from timu but this is not art supply but it is something really fun i bought one flower as you can see here and oh my god these things are cute like it was so fun uh, putting them together it was also a little bit difficult but just look at it you can also move some parts and as if you want to know so it's like let me try to take it out yeah so this is what you get you get like a lot of small tiny pieces and you have to put them all together and this one was on offer for one euro eighty i think uh, usually it's around 250 or something so really really nice i think and also something else but this i did not see anymore on timu i'm a little bit sad that i did not buy more of these ones like just look at this i have no idea who of you guys watches anime i have i've grown up with anime and i love everything about it so yeah um but i bought these ones already i think it was it's almost a year ago maybe half a year ago and i really i do not see them anymore but they were so cute like really really nice and um also a guitar and it was also really fun to put this one together so just like a small idea if you want to give someone a present i think these flower they have a lot of different flowers a really nice thing to gift to someone okay now let's go a little bit faster over the sketchbooks mm, or watercolor blocks this is actually watercolor uh, block this is from paul rubens it is glued on all sides so it's not a sketchbook it's just like your paper glued on all sides and it's a nice paper to use then i have um, the acrylic marker set this is a set d if i remember right i have a and b i do not have a c um but this is a d <laughs> so yeah they have different uh sets so i um, also cannot wait to try these ones out because of the colors um i do prefer a little bit more the gang na or something like that um, brush markers just because until now those were holding up much better than the arctic ones these ones i don't know they feel a little bit drier now than the other ones than the gang na but 
yeah it could also be just that set which i got but yeah so i cannot wait to try this one out then i have a couple of papers interesting papers and it really makes different art of papers i use for example this is sugarcane this is a new watercolor it is 70 percent sugarcane and 30 percent cotton rag and this one here is bamboo and it is 90 percent bamboo and 10 percent cotton this rag. is 265 gsm and this one is 290 as I said, they have also other ones, uh, I think for sketching, there's also bamboo sketching or something like that. 90 or some, 100 something GSM, but it's just a little bit too thin for my taste, so I did not buy that one. And this one is going to be a little bit difficult to show you because of the glare. This is a Fontaine, from Claire Fontaine, watercolor paper, black one. So it is 100% cotton, black watercolor paper. So also here, I cannot wait to try this one out. And another black paper which I bought now on this Amazon, whatever that was, Easter Prime Day. Uh, it's a Derwent Black Hard Bag Sketchbook. It is a 200 GSM paper. Uh, it's a black paper. It's, I did read, uh, read the reviews, mm, a little, uh, the people are complaining that they are getting like used sketchbooks or damaged and unfortunately I also have to say that, that also these edges of my sketchbook are damaged and do not look nice. Even though I did buy this sketchbook as new and yeah it's just as you see inside you have a lot of black paper and um, it is i don't know why it feels quite thin um it is 200 gsm but it feels much thinner and it is a really smooth paper so like almost no tooth on it so it will be interesting to see how colored pencils are gonna work on it okay and one more thing i bought pvc watercolors from shin han I found a website, uh, I will try to link it in the description, I hope I will remember, where these tubes, like these 15 milliliter tubes, go with a price from 2 euro 50 and upwards, which is like crazy cheap, like really just crazy cheap. I already poured uh, these colors into the pens. I will try them out and then I have to think about it if I maybe I will just sell these ones because pff, I do not think I need so much color. Only if I see that I really really like these watercolors then I will keep them but maybe I'm gonna sell uh, the rest. I mean come on it's like 15 milliliters and I only poured like one milliliter out which is crazy. And also on that website, I bought additional ink tens pens. They were around two euro fifty or two eighty uh, or two, 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 two euro something on that website. Okay, so this is just a small update. I did try using the wet brush on top of uh, this to see if it's going to smudge and unfortunately it does smudge so uh, it will not be good to use with watercolors so this one i bought from timu unfortunately is not good not for the what i want to do to use it for my purpose so i will definitely have to check some other ones which are waterproof on, my, on amazon and not from timu so it does work like you can use it for colored pencils or similar but not for watercolors because it, this was a couple of days later so not immediately after i've put it on the paper so but this is still uh cute so this is a nice size this as i said i will probably cut down it's just yeah for me a little bit too close to each other Another thing I bought from Timu are two sketchbooks and this one is like that zigzag from Hene Mühle. It is 
I mean, it is uh, smaller than I expected, a smaller meaning thinner. So it was written that it is 100% cotton paper. Uh, I cannot really tell you from here if it is right or wrong, but on the website it said 100% cotton paper. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages and then you can just turn it around and then you have one two three four five six six pages yeah so on one side you can paint on eight pages on on the other one on uh, six the paper is cold pressed and yeah actually the paper looks the same almost the same on both sides yeah, on both sides is the cold pressed paper. So this is like a cheaper option from that Zig uh, Hennemüller sketchbooks. But you see, it's quite small. I'm not now really sure how many pages there are in that Zig one. Um, but considering the price, well, this one is not so expensive. I think I paid it four euros. Not a lot of pages are inside, but considering that the Zig ones cost really a lot of money, uh, this is a nice thing if you want to try it out. And another sketchbook also from Timu is this one. It also said 100% cotton paper. This one was 9 euros. It's 100% um, cotton paper, that's what they say. And this one is more like a hot press, so it's uh, or like yeah. This this side is really hot press. This is like has a, has a little bit more of texture, but I would put it like somewhere in the middle between. Yeah, this is definitely hot press, and this is like a, has a little bit of of. Nah, it's not cold press. It's like really semi semi hot press. Um, so yeah, this is that one. I think it's also really nice. I'm happy happy about it. 100% uh, cotton. It does feel like cotton paper, so we will see how it behaves with watercolors. But yeah, it looks uh, it looks nice, and you can buy it in different colors. So different this one. You, you I think there was a pink, uh, blue this one and gray um, another thing i bought but this is something i am returning it is from amazon warehouse but i still wanted to show it to you um, it's just a little bit it is too too much damaged for my taste so it did not say that it was damaged so much uh, but also i'm not really happy with it uh, if I would have been, I would have kept it, but I, I just, I wanted to try it out to see how this artist color swatch book looks like. Mm, I thought, okay, maybe I will really be using this and for my swatching. I already thought that maybe it is not for me, but still, you know, when you really want to try it, you to see it, like, I was like, okay, I have to order it. And, and when I saw it, in warehouse i was like yeah i definitely have to uh, order it and see how it looks like so this is from tumarta tumarta no idea how to pronounce it i think there are a lot of things i don't know how to pronounce <laughs> so 100 percent cotton paper and between each sheet you get like this mm, i'm not really sure what kind of paper this is well, you get like this sheet of see-through paper between every sheet and it is quite dirty, especially in the back and what I was like thinking first, I really wanted to see how big these uh, swatch faces are. So for my taste, they are too large. That's why I also, that is another thing why I'm returning this. And it is quite expensive for 10 sheets. Was it 10 sheets? Yes, it's only 10 sheets of watercolor paper and you have that only on one side. And as I showed you before, I actually bought these things from Timu. Now I only have to buy um, an ink 
which can work with it, work with it which is waterproof but i actually think that these are half of this one so meaning i will be able to put much more colors on the paper as i said i just have to buy a waterproof ink but yeah i will find that somewhere uh, but just for the comparison so that you can see so this is the stuff you get on timu like yeah two of these ones can fit in in one of this one but it depends how large you like your swatches i have seen people swatching their watercolors like which were huge i prefer to have more colors on one sheet of paper so it really depends what you like but now that i have seen this really in real life i see that it is not um, not for me so this was my swatch card uh, from the Derwent Inktense pencils and I'm going to add these two to the bottom. I hope the sun is not too strong. There is sun come shining. So we have mango. And this one is violet blue. Oh, such a nice color, this one. Well, this one is quite similar to this 077 we will see when it dries how it looks like as you can see this one goes into the more orange direction i suppose if i put more layers it will be much more intensive uh, this one now that it dried you can see it is different from this one above and let me just show you so if you put like one more layer it's going to be really nice strong color oh, i do have uh, maybe a little bit too much water on the brush yes but yeah uh, these are the two new colors that I got. Uh, then I have two things I bought in Action Store. Um, maybe you've heard of it. I did mention it a couple of times. I think it's from Holland, but I'm not so sure. You get like a, a lot of really, really cheap stuff there. And I bought this vellum pattern paper and just because I thought it looked so nice. I will have to use like a white sheet yeah just to show you how the pages actually look like so they are actually they are more like see-through so if you write something underneath you can still a little bit see what it is so that is that one it, then we have wait, wait wait then we have one without those shiny dots something like this like this here i think it's also really nice and oh this one is also <laughs> okay so they are all nice i will see what i will be using them for probably for my journal and yeah you get like different patterns inside more of them also these ones are cute like this and we have yeah a little bit more and that's it so these ones are really cheap uh, i think one euro 50 or something like that so not so expensive but you get a lot of different patterns and i'm actually not so sure <laughs> do i really need this probably not but i was thinking yeah i i will buy one small um, watercolor palette box just to use it for traveling 
and let me show you this one is two euro fifty so you get the watercolor box with the colors inside for two euros fifty which is like yeah just crazy i i'm gonna say it is definitely crazy so but let's take a look at it um i don't know i mean only the box of course i think it's worth more than two euros but okay if they want to sell it so cheap so what do we have 15 colors including two metallic colors and also a brush and that's just a little bit crazy so where do i open this one how do i press it and how do i open it oh okay it's really easy you press this down and then you open it omg okay yeah did i break it oh maybe i broke it did i break it no i did not break it Ah, oh, interesting okay so it was just like stuck a little bit there at the beginning because it stayed like that and then when i opened it it fell down but i think it's nice is it going to go back no so that's it wow oh, it's so light oh my god okay so here you have some kind of brush oh my god oh this is nice okay so i think i know what this is for and i am actually pretty sure i know what this is for you see here you oh my god this is nice look at it like you can just take this out and then you're like okay i want to have some other colors inside so i'm gonna take my really expensive ones let's see what do i have here uh daniel smith or core okay let's say, take this core and see if this will fit inside and it actually let's see does it fit or it's not does not fit i think it's fit i just have to press it inside okay so it's a little bit bigger this one ha huh, here it is okay so this one is maybe a little bit big okay it is a little bit a little bit problematic because of this small indent here i get it now so their watercolor pens have this small indent i think it's called indent where you put it inside and that just slips there and you can also take it really easy out but and these ones actually do not have that thing so it is quite actually difficult to put them inside Mm hmm okay that is also a good thing to know so it's not gonna work as i thought of course i can always take this one out and fill it with my color so that is something that i could definitely do take these colors out but let's see do i have some other ones so it definitely does destroy a little bit my idea of what like exchanging the colors however i want because of that small part here but let me see so this is my Mary blue i think these ones are gonna fit inside because yes <laughs> because these ones also have um that small i will show you you see these also have this here so that's why they fit without the problem so i could actually put my my Mary blue inside here if i want to take uh, some colors for traveling yeah okay okay maybe that's not a bad idea so maybe i will do that as you can see not all pens half pens fit in here because of that uh, part but those ones from my mary blue do and i think also what was it daily roni i think daily roni has also uh, pens similar to these ones so the ones from Timu, which I bought, they do not fit, just because of that small part there. Can can I take this out? I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think so. It seems quite. No. Uh, well, maybe. Wait. Wait. I think they thought this really well through because I see this part here. <laughs> okay what do you want i mean for two euros 50 what do you want okay so this just like how do you take say it i take my head off for you like really 
such a genius idea okay like you are always struggling with stuff like this like to take something out to put it somewhere and stuff like that and like they just made this omg like this is genius genius okay and this here so yeah i love the palette a little bit sad that not all of my pens can fit inside Good. okay I think that's it. Oh, guys, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.